This video is sponsored by Sindeed, a Muslim clothing brand that isn't actually an embarrassment to wear. Why am I talking about toilets? Have I lost the plot? Probably. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> but it is World Toilet Day today, mate. Here. Yeah, I'm not making this up and stop asking me. Is it really? No way. Are you making it? It is. The amount of times I've had to justify it today is not nice. As you can tell, all these toilet rolls, it should be enough for one session. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. One in four people across the world don't have a toilet. In fact, more people have a phone than have toilets. Lack of toilets increases disease, costs a country millions of dollars. And let's face it, it stinks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you caught me at a bad time. Guys, it is however ironic that the US has chosen today, out of all days, to show their support for the illegal settlements. I mean, their decision is very similar to what I'm about to flush down the toilet, mate. Yes, indeed. It's <laughs> gonna do his danger, yeah? Go on, do one. Trump's number two, Mike Pompey, squeezed out his statement this morning. He wiped away a decades old stance of the US without even doing his danger. Have a look at this map, guys. As you can see, the US is clearly in the majority, yeah? Yeah. Now let's have a listen to the statement of Trump's Supu hero. Mike Pompey. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal and stole. That's and let's see what this guy's got to say. After carefully studying all sides. What are you doing, mate? You can't just be making up words. It's not the law, yeah? That you can just make it up and just plonk it out and people will accept it. If you're struggling to formulate sentences, I mean, what hope is there? The United States encourages the Israelis and the Palestinians to this encourages, this encourages, this encourages. Let's face it mate, even your mouth is rejecting this verbal diarrhea that's coming out and gracing our ears. The establishment of Israeli civilian settlements in the West Bank is not per se inconsistent. Per se, you do all of this and the most you can muster up is per se. It's like your words, your mouth, everything is rejecting what you're saying mate. I mean, as you can see, there's no amount of certitude in that. Sorry? That's a made up word. Carefully. I thought we were allowed to use made up words. I mean, this desperate decision has come at a time where, let's face it, it's a strategic decision. Not the fact that it's World Toilet Day. Let's flip in, put that to the side for now, yeah? But Trump is being impeached. And Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, he's uh, losing traction in his country. So this move will help get Netanyahu back on the boat. And Trump is going to his favourite vote base, which is of course the Conservative Christians. Because him and the Conservative Christians have been like this because he promised them a few things and he's lived by it. So anytime he goes to them, they're loyal mate. Because according to Christians, they believe that Israel needs to be intact for the final time prophecies. So, of course, it works for them, yeah? And not to forget Mike Pompey is also linked with evangelical uh, Christians as well. Here's a comment by the Prime Minister of Malaysia. He made a good point and said, this actually sets a very dangerous precedent because if Israel can do that and take illegal land, I mean any country can do that now. And I came across this brilliant example to explain this whole Israel-Palestine illegal settlements issue. Think of it as two people debating over whose pizza it is. But one of them is eating the pizza as they're debating and not forgetting he's got a gun on the face of the other person. That's pretty much it guys, yeah? Happy World Toilet Day, may your life be uh, stink free, yeah? Because let's face it guys, the toilet is amazing. On the level, yeah, the toilet is amazing. We go there with our gunk and garbage, we sit on it and press the button, it's gone mate.
Yeah, you learn the lesson of humbleness from the toilet. It doesn't say, Oi, mate, what are you doing? I've had enough, mate. Yeah? Flipping it, what have you been eating? And a lot of us get brilliant ideas on the toilet as well. I don't know about you, but in this day of, you know, technology, we don't get a time to think that much. That's why you're getting so many remakes made of old classics like Lion King and, you know, Power Rangers, Pokemon, whatever. They're just remaking because let's face it, everyone's got their head in technology and that's like one way. But back in the days, that's when all the brilliant ideas used to come. And that's why we had like amazing shows and good comedy and that sort of stuff. That's why you get amazing ideas coming on the bog. Let's face it, because you're there, you know you're there for five minutes. No one can interfere, the door's closed, you can't go nowhere. So your body is relaxed and your mind is left to wander. That's why you get epiphanies on the toilet, mate. Yeah, just apply that into your daily life. Have time where you're just sitting down, no disturbances, like on a park bench in a park or in the library or somewhere. Now I'm saying, get those creative juices flowing. Alhamdulillah, it teaches us gratitude. You know, in some countries in Pakistan, when I go to the village area, you got open sewage system. Open, you can literally see the blob floating as it's going. And the guy just seeing it like, he, like it's his kid going to school. Good day, son. That's my one. He's a good lad. Go be what you want to be. Live your dreams, son. Yes. I'll make another one tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't see him again. Alright guys, till next time. Assalamu alaikum.